if you have severe elevation in your cholesterol and you can't be treated, there's an extremely high chance that you will eventually have a vascular complication, most commonly heart attack. And our objective is to make sure you never get that. But there is always hope for patients with very high cholesterol levels, regardless of whether it's improving the diet, improving the medications, using medications in combination, being sensitive to the patient's underlying medical condition aside from their cholesterol and making certain adjustments based upon that, or in those cases where everything else has been exhausted, LDL apheresis is there for those who still can't get the goal. The procedure entails coming to a room where you're seated in a comfortable chair and there's a television in the room. There's a nurse who has expertise in this particular procedure who finds a large vein on one side, places in an IV, finds a large vein on the other side, and places in an IV. The blood is then uh, removed through tubing and goes through a special machine which acts to filter the bad cholesterol out of the blood. The procedure takes about two to two and a half hours. In some patients, it may take three hours, depending upon the rate of flow. Most patients tolerate this extremely well. The LDL apheresis program is a program that's meant for patients who basically have no other options for treatment for lowering their cholesterol levels, either those who have very high cholesterol levels, which are so high that medications are not effective in getting it down significantly, or those patients who have suffered uh, side effects from medication, such that medications cannot be administered effectively or safely. Those patients then are candidates for the procedure. So it's Medicare approved, government payer approved, private insurance approved, those patients will have these services covered by their insurance. It has now been shown that this treatment not only can lower the bad cholesterol levels, the LDL cholesterol, by roughly 75%, but it's also been shown to significantly reduce heart attack risk, and this has been documented in studies in the medical literature. So our objective is not only to lower the cholesterol, but to, more importantly, reduce the future risk of heart attacks. I care about what happens to these patients and I don't want to see any of them have heart attacks.